Hello friends, welcome back to another important lecture. Now friends, in this video, I will cover a very important case study from bonds. And as usual, with this one case study only, you will understand the complex concepts of yield to maturity calculation, duration of a bond calculation, then finding volatility of the bond, and finally effect of yield on bond price. Friends, bonds is very important concept in GIB and CIB. GIB covers introductory part of bonds, while CIB covers advanced concepts of bonds. So it's very important for you to master the concept of bonds very early in your GIB and CIB journey. So without further ado, let's start with today's case study. But before that, don't forget to like this video since this tells me that you are loving the content. And it also motivates me to make more such awesome videos. Also subscribe to the channel since this is the only channel that provides quality content. You must also join my Facebook and Telegram groups where I post lots of one-pagers and other useful stuff which is very important for your examination. All the links to join are there in description to this video so do join after you finish this lecture. So the case study goes like this. The following data are available for a bond. Now face value is given as rupees 1000 then coupon rate is given as 16%. Years to maturity is 6 years then redemption value is rupees 1000. Then yield to maturity is given as 17%. Now friends, I am assuming that you know the basics of bonds. That is what a face value is, coupon rate is, and you also know about yield to maturities. Now if you know nothing about bonds, then I would request to watch my lectures on bonds in my BFM case studies course. The links for which you can find in description to this video. I have explained all these basics and advanced concepts related to bonds very beautifully in my course. Now, based on the data given, answer next 5 questions. And the first question is, what is current market price of the bond? And these options are given to you. Now friends, there are 2-3 methods. Now friends, there are 2-3 methods to find the current market price of a bond. And easiest of them all is using yield to maturity. Now I have explained yield to maturity formula in my this GIB AFB mock test video in question number 23. There I have explained that yield to maturity is approximately F minus P divided by N plus C and whole of this divided by F plus P divided by 2. Where C is the coupon, F is face value of the bond, P is current market price and N will be years to maturity. Now I would request to watch that mock test video again as there I have explained a good case study from bonds. I have also put the link to that video in description below. And you can also find a full dedicated lecture on yield to maturity in my BFM case study course as well. Now as far as this question is concerned, when you look at the data carefully, you will observe that yield to maturity is given to us as 17%. Then F that is face value is given to us rupees 1000. P that is current market price of the bond we have to find and let's assume it as X and N that is years to maturity is given as 6 years. So you can see everything is given to us except market price. I hope now this question is a cakewalk for you. Let's say market price is X. So after substituting all these values in the formula for yield to maturity, we get 0 0.17 equals 160 plus 1000 minus X divided by 6 and whole of this divided by 1000 plus x divided by 2. And on solving for the value of x, you will get x equals 960.26. So the current market price of the bond is 960.26. Thus the correct option for the given question is option B. Now friends, there is a second method also to find the current market price or intrinsic value of the bond which you will see in next question of this case study. But as far as this question is concerned, I hope the process is clear to you. Now before moving ahead with the lecture, don't forget to get your CIB resources from the links given in description to this video. These first two are 1000 series question banks of ABM and BFM respectively. Now both these books comes with objective questions and case studies and that too with detailed explanations. Then next, these two are secret sauce books which are in fact summarized notes for best results. Friends, your textbooks are outdated now. And in these books, you will find the expanded topics which are not covered in your book but are asked in your examination. Friends, finally, these two books are for your optional papers. As of today, I provide retail banking and HRM and frankly, these two are the best and easiest optionals to clear CIB. 
Also note I update these books after every exam so always get updated editions. All the links are there in description to this video so do get these after you finish this lecture. Now let's move forward with our case study. Then next question of the case study is what is duration of the bond? And these options are given to you. Friends this is also a good question and in CIB duration is asked very often. Now duration is basically a measure of the sensitivity of the price of the bond or other debt instruments to a change in interest rates. When we say the duration of the bond is 4 years then we basically means that if the interest rate on the bond goes up by 1% the bond's price will decline by 4%. It's as simple as that. And hope by now you can make out that duration of the bond is quoted in years. Now the mathematical formula to find duration of the bond is that is that is macular duration equals summation of t is equal to 1 to n pv that is present value multiplied by cash flow at the time t multiplied by t and whole of this divided by market price of the bond also not friends by default when we are asked about duration of a bond we normally mean macular duration only now i won't get into depth of this formula in this video i will simply teach you the steps using which you can easily find the duration of a bond Now for ease we will construct a table like this. Friends please note yearly cash flow will be 16% of face value that is 16% of 1000 equals 160. And in the last year that is 6 year cash flow will be redemption value that is 1000 plus yearly cash flow that is 160 equals 1160. Next we will find the present value of all these cash flows one by one. So present value for year 1 will be 160 multiplied by 1 divided by 1.17 raised to the power 1. which equals 136.75 similarly for year 2 present value will be 160 multiplied by 1 divided by 1.17 raised to the power 2 equals 116.88 and similarly we will find present value of all these cash flows for the year 1 to 6 finally in the last column we will multiply this time t multiplied by these present values and in this column we will get the values of t multiplied by present value So for the year 1 this value will be 1 multiplied by 136.75 equals 136.75 Then for the year 2 it will be 2 multiplied by 116.88 equals 233.76 Similarly we will find the values of all these here Friends present value of the bond that is this column is nothing but market price or intrinsic value of the bond which comes out to be 964.10 So this is what the second method of finding market price of a bond which I was talking about in the first question of this case study. And the total of this last column of T multiplied by PV is 4089.89. Finally to get the duration of the bond just put the value of sigma T multiplied by PV that is 4089.89 in the numerator and market price of the bond that is 964.10 in denominator we get duration of a bond as 4089.89 divided by 964.10 equals 4.24 years. Thus the correct option for the given question is option C. Now for some of you will hear question about the market value of the bond that we got in previous part of the case study to market value of the bond that we got in this part. In previous part we found market value as 960.26 While here we got the market value of the bond as 964.10. Now friends please note we can find market value by any of these two methods. And the answer that we will get here will be almost similar as we got here. Please note yield to maturity formula in fact gives approximate value of the yield to maturity only and not the exact value. So as a result here we are getting approximate market price of the bond only. Similarly in NPV method also that is in the tabular form which we used in this question also gives approximate value only So you need to mark your answer as per the formula you used mark the answer which is closest to your calculated value Even if you use the NPV method to find the current market price in previous question then also you will mark option A as your answer which was closest to our calculation Friends I hope this important point is clear to you Next friends there is a shortcut formula also to find the bond duration which is that is duration of a bond equals 1 plus yield to maturity divided by yield to maturity minus 1 plus yield to maturity plus t multiplied by c minus yield to maturity 
and whole of this divided by c multiplied by 1 plus yield to maturity raised to the power t minus 1 plus ytm where ytm as usual is yield to maturity c is coupon rate and t is years to maturity and when you substitute all these values in this formula you will get duration of a bond equals 1.17 divided by 0.17 minus 1.17 plus 6 multiplied by 0.16 minus 0.17 and whole of this divided by 0.16 multiplied by 1.17 raised to the power 6 minus 1 plus 0.17 on solving this you will get duration of a bond as 4.24 years now friends i won't advocate to use this method since it's tedious to remember this long formula for your examination but on the contrary if you have superb memory then indeed memorizing this formula will give you great results but i personally find tabular form much better with practice you don't even need to make any table as well the next question is what is volatility of the bond and these options are given to you now friends volatility of the bond is simply duration divided by 1 plus yield to maturity now you have already found duration as 4.24 and yield to maturity is given in the question as 17 percent so just plug in the values in the formula we get volatility equals 4.24 divided by 1 plus 0.17 equals 4.24 divided by 1.17 equals 3.62 thus the correct option for the given question is option d the next question is very important and the question is what is expected market price of the bond if increase in required yield is by 100 basis points and these options are given to you now friends in previous question we calculated the volatility of the bond as 3.62 now can you tell what this means in layman language well this simply means that if yield of the bond that is yield to maturity changes by 1 percent then value of the bond that is market price of the bond will change by 3.62 percent in opposite direction friends remember this important correlation between yield to maturity and value of the bond as this is used in many question in bonds now in the question given yield increases by 100 basis points that is 1 percent and we have already seen in this case study that if yield of the bond that is yield to maturity changes by 1 percent then value of the bond that is market price of the bond will change by 3.62 percent in opposite direction so in this question since yield increases by 1 percent so market price will decrease by 3.62 percent i hope this important point is clear to you so decrease in market price will be 3.62 percent of 960.26 please note we have already found the market price in the first part of this case study so decrease will be 3.62 percent of 960.26 that is rupees 34.76 so new market price will be 960.26 minus 34.76 equals rupees 925.50 thus the correct option for the given question is option c now friends before moving ahead with the lecture don't forget to enroll in my abm and bfn case study courses friends case studies are very important to clear cib and students who don't take case study seriously are the ones who got stuck in their CAB year after year. Now these courses have been given best ratings by students and these courses have provided students best results year on year. The format of each lecture is that I first explain the theory at start and then we solve detailed case studies and questions to make the concept clear. So do join these courses from the links provided in description to this video. Friends, finally we have reached the last question of our case study and the question is what is expected price of the bond if decrease in required yield is by 75 basis points and these options are given to you friends i hope now you can easily answer this question just pause the video and try the question yourself friends i will again write the meaning of volatility again that is if yield of the bond that is yield to maturity changes by 1% then value of the bond that is market price of the bond will change by 3.62% in opposite direction in, in this case study. So in this question if yield of the bond that is yield to maturity decreases by 0.75% then value of the bond that is market price of the bond will increase by 3.62% multiplied by 0.75 equals 2.71%. So increase will be simply 2.71% of 960.26 equals 26.02.
सो द न्यू मार्केट प्राइस विल बी सिंपली नाइन सिक्सटी पॉइंट टू सिक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू इक्वल्स नाइन एटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू एट दस अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी फ्रेंड्स विद दिस एम वाइंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर आई होप द केस स्टडी इज क्लियर टू यू लास्टली डोंट मिस टू गेट योर सी आई बी रिसोर्स फ्रॉम द लिंक्स गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन टू दिस वीडियो सो थैंक यू एंड आई विल मीट यू गेन इन अनदर लेक्चर